What is up, YouTube family, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle, also known as Gabby, and I am back today with another cash stuffing video for you guys, a fan favorite. <laughs> so guys, I am super excited to be stuffing our cash envelopes for the remainder of the month. We're going to be divvying out our pay third paycheck. We did get paid, and we are going to be stuffing our envelopes today. So we, this is all the money that we're going to have for the rest of the month for, you know, our more of our variable spending. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you stay a while and enjoy my content. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm working on debt, a debt payoff journey, as well as savings challenges and just my budget journey, guys. And it is the real deal. So let's go ahead and get into this third pay paycheck and chat it up about what we have going on. Um, I did want to mention, guys, that I'm a thousand subscribers. I'm so happy to be here. I can't believe I'm already here. Um, I'm gearing up for my giveaway, guys. I'm just gathering all of my thoughts and my processes and making sure I give out um, something of value to you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the third paycheck. So for our salary, guys, we have a um, expected salary, which is our paycheck, of $1,686. Not too bill heavy. We have a couple bills and then the rest is pretty much variable spending. <laughs> so for um, our first billing expense is going to be child care. It's not due on a certain specific day. Like I said, I've just been stacking this money up for when my baby girl actually does go back. So $200 is what I'm putting toward that from this paycheck. Um, our car payment, our first car payment is coming out. If you're new, we're paying off two cars and hopefully we will only have one car going into 2022. So our car payment is $451. And then we have our student loan slash snowball amount. I'm just basically coupling that in with all together. So $215 is going towards that, this paycheck. This total comes out to $886. And then we have our cash envelopes that we're going to be stuffing today. We have groceries. We're going to put $400 for the remainder of the month. And eating out, we're going to put $200 for the remainder of the month. And then we're going to add to our savings challenge, which is going to be $220. And I think I have just a little bit more, like 100 and some odd dollars left to do for my savings challenge to hit my savings goal, which I'm going to do on our fourth paycheck. I am a dual income family, guys. It's me and my husband, and we have three, three children. So I'm budgeting for my family of five. So that is that this total comes out to $820. So 820 plus, no, I don't think this is 886. This is 866. <laughs> See, I told you guys it's the real deal. We all make mistakes. So I'll wipe that out. I have my white, white out handy today. Mom win because normally it's all over the house. So 8. 66 so 866 plus 820 equals out to our 1686 and guys i do do a zero based budget where i budget all of the money that i plan to budget for so let's go ahead and hop into our cash stuffing section of the video and get into that <laughs> Right, guys i'm back and ready to attack let's go ahead and get into it i have a total of 820 dollars that i'm going to be stuffing for this paycheck um super excited to do that how are you guys doing this month let me know down in the comments what's going on how your month is going how you know how are you feeling for the rest of february i feel like february has been good we're done with valentine's day that was a whole whole thing how did your valentine's day go guys i want to um know how you guys are doing just let me know so we should have $820 here. Let me go ahead and count that out for you. 100, 200, 300, 400. I know I have some 50s in here, guys. So didn't have my money right this time. Let's start over. 100, 200, 300, 400. I'll just go ahead and slide these into the tray. And I'll probably put it there. 400, 500, 600. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 700. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 800. So let's put the 10s here. 5, 10, 15, 20. So 820 is what we have, guys. Let me make sure I'm in frame and all that good stuff because I am filming on my iPhone. So I don't have the luxuries of like looking up at a camera and seeing the reflection and I'm not in frame. So we'll put our money all in here. So groceries today are going to get $400. I think I have some money in here. So let's count and see how much we already have. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16. So we're going to end up with $416. So let's put this here. I'm going to count our 400, 100, and 200, 300. And we're going to break this last 100 down. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. 85, 90, 95, 100. Sorry, that's I'm all out of the thing. So let me make sure this is 400. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. So we do. So we should have $416 total. I'm glad I actually have some ones in here. That's a good thing for me. So 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 400, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 416 is in groceries. Let's go ahead and stuff that in. Make sure money is facing the right way. done so now we're on to eating out we do have a little money in eating out as well let's we'll see how much we have in here 51 52 53 and we're going to be adding one no 200 dollars. thank god i have my cheat sheet if we're going to add 200 dollars to eating out and i think i'm just going to do 50s i like to do lower denominations in eating out um so 50 20 40 60, 80, 90, 95, and 100. Because I think, yeah, only 220 is needed for that. So, 50s. Guys, I'm losing it. Okay. So, 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200. And then we're gonna add 53 into here. So that should be fun, counting these 50s. 50, 100, 50, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 245, 250, 51, 52, 53. Doing good, guys, I'm getting better. Practice makes perfect on those 50s. <laughs> if you don't know, guys, I'm a struggle bus when counting those um, 50s because, you know, it's an odd number. So, eating out, that is good. We have $253 for the rest of the month. God, I think we can get this done. As well as groceries, $416 should be good. So, savings challenge, guys. I'm pretty sure we have $483 in here. Let's just make sure. And then we're going to be adding $220 which is going to give us a total of, quick math, $703, 703, 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83. So 483 is what we have, and we are going to add $220. And that is all that she wrote, guys. We're only stuffing three envelopes today. It's a lot of money, but only three envelopes. I guess, you know... It is what it is. So let's put this here. Let's count this up. It should be $703. And then we have, like I said, a, just a little bit more. And we will be at our goal of 417 for this month. Because we stuffed 66 and 200. 
so I think we need to do about $131 more dollars for my next paycheck. One, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, one, two, and three. Oh, that was super easy. So 703 is in our savings challenge, guys. My savings challenge is actually racking up and I actually like to see the cash. It's, it's nice to see the cash to see it, you know, stacking up. I did get some 1K slips, guys. So those will be coming in once, you know, we have over a thousand in our savings challenge. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm ready to attack. I have to stuff my cash envelopes, my mini cash envelopes with you guys also. Let's just show you guys that part. I like, I enjoy showing it and I love these small, sorry guys, this is my nail shop. <laughs> but I love to show you guys these envelopes. So I already have a little money in eating out. I might add like 10 or $12 to that, but groceries, I'm just gonna take 200, not 200, yeah, yeah, 200 out of groceries. Oh, guys, I messed up the money. Little oh me. I'm going to take 200 out of groceries and put that in there. And I should probably take these fives. No, I won't take fives this time. Okay, and leave the rest in groceries. So I forgot to show you guys this part. Um, one... 150, 150, 70, 90, 200. So, I don't, like I said, I don't take all of my cash with me. I just take a little bit and this is, you know, it looks like it's only $10 if somebody decides to steal it. <laughs> so, one, 200 in groceries for when I go to the store and then eating out, I think I have $30 in here already. Yeah, and I'm going to just, maybe put another 30 in there well I'll, we'll just do we'll just do another 40. so 60 70 we'll have 70 dollars in eating out for us if you know we're out and on the run so there we are uh-oh money got caught so yeah i like to stuff my mini envelopes also so there we are, guys. This is, guys, that is pretty much it. That's all that I have. Um, like I said, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate all of you guys and all your input. Like I said, I'm gearing up for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm so happy to have all you guys. If you are into anything that I'm talking about, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Join the family, okay? We are... Um, currently on vacation when this video is posted. I'm sure of that. I'm 100% sure of that. So I will update you guys when I get back. Um, I'm super excited to continue to grow with you guys. And I guess I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.